Hi everyone and welcome back to Crochet Rocks. My name's Tracy and um, I'm doing a little series of videos to um, review the yarn from some of the UK's cheapest shops and to see how it compares to um, its expensive counterparts um, in other stores. So um, yeah, the first one I'm going to uh, review is Pound Stretcher. And I've been recently doing a project um, which is not on YouTube at the moment. It will be imminently. But I'm uh, making a new crochet along and it's going to be a baby blanket because um, many of you may know that we've got a new baby coming. So um, a new grandbaby that is, not myself. So uh, congratulations to me and not in order. Um, that ship sailed. So... Um, I've been purchasing some yarn to use um, and I did a, a little yarn haul a little while ago and in that yarn haul I bought this and this and it's quite a new one. I'd previously used the um, premium acrylic yarn fair which is priced at 69p for a 50 gram skein and it is really dreamy soft it's absolutely lovely um, I've never had any problems using this it is machine washable and as you can see the washing instructions are all there um, now the only criticisms I usually have of these um, cheaper shops is that don't always tell you how many yards or how many meters are actually in it which this one doesn't some do but some don't they have the the gauge guide they have everything else the the item number and they tell you washing instructions but some of the finer um, points are not there such as you know how how much yarn you've actually got it for your 50 gram ball it is lovely and soft and so how has it been when I've been using it so I, I've had this one for some time and I'm going to be using this to make a duggy dog to uh, attach to a blanket that I've just made it's beautiful and soft and durable and really really like that yarn so recently I bought this one which is a similar kind of um a similar kind of um what's the word I'm looking for um it, it's comparable it's the 69p yarn that they do but this one is not premium acrylic it is a, it just acrylic but it's baby dk which is a three weight and it's machine washable and they call this one yarn fair tootsie so again it's machine washable and um, all of the information is there except yardage you've got um, a little bit more information this time on the shade they've given it a name but it's lovely it's soft it feels really good I got got it in the pink and I also got it in the ivory color and it's just gorgeous this is called baby cream so it is a creamy ivory color it's not as soft as the premium acrylic but it is baby soft that you wouldn't have any problem at all using that for a baby and so I decided to give it a try and there is one other yarn in my project that's from another store and that is the darker pink color but I've used it and it works up really really well I've been really pleased with it it performs well and it feels lovely and it's a joy to work with so that little sneak peek about my new project that's brilliant now I have used other yarns from there before now this one um, got the wrong no got the wrong one there sorry did pick the wrong yarn up it's this one now this is um, their chunky stripe and it's absolutely lovely um, really soft works up an, a dream again all the washing instructions there 100% um, acrylic yarn lovely and soft I've had absolutely no problems with it it displays all of the dye numbers and everything else um, it seems to be top secret again regarding the yardage 
which is a shame it should really tell you and mostly now you get the little symbol which tells you whether it's a um, four or a three or a five but I would say this the one is a chunky UK which is a bulky five and that's about right but it is absolutely lovely to work with I've made some really good stuff with this and I've been absolutely pleased with it now I've made also don't knock it over I made a blanket um, with this one the equivalent of this in a different color um, and it was my mile a minute chunky um, blanket which is a tutorial on my on my, on my site in in my playlist which you can easily find and this is just a different colorway um, they're all really inexpensive this one's more expensive at 249 I think the one I used was 199 um, the same price way as this one harder to read the pack but again it's all very much the same um, they don't display the the yards that they're usually all machine washable but the feel of this is just lovely you know it's just such good quality to be fair and um, I've been really really pleased with it now one of the first yarns that I purchased it's looking a bit bedraggled because I squashed this <laughs> Um, I actually took a vacuum cleaner and shrunk all this so that I could move so it is looking a little bit flattened but um, it's lovely and soft this is absolutely dreamy soft and look at that lovely shine that we've got here now this is saying it's chunky but I believe it I would say it's slightly thicker I would say it's a super chunky because it's it is thicker than this chunky and well perhaps I don't know you'd have to use it wouldn't you but I did do a little skein of this once um to do some cuts and practices but I've not made anything with it again all of the um machine washable 100% acrylic feels like a premium acrylic this it's really really dreamy soft but again no yardage but that is a small price to pay but this one is 2.99 sometimes you can get these even cheaper in a two pack um and it is lovely absolutely lovely to work with that i've also got it in this lovely kind of dreamy dusky pink which wasn't squashed as you can see so it's got its shape still but i have used these they work up amazingly and I've had absolutely no trouble with them again they do um, these ones these are just the bright range this is a purple I've got several of these but they come in a 150 gram ball and they display all of the same information and emitting all of the um, all of the same information unfortunately so not one uh, yardage but I like the way these ones come wrapped in the cellophane wrapper so or oh, polythene wrapper should I say so yeah I thought when I picked these up that these were very similar um, looking to the bands that I had for my yarn that I used in my um, chunky mile a minute but they're not they're a totally different brand but this is the newest one that I've used and I have to say that this is a three weight DK and it works up amazingly I've been so pleased with it and this one um, the their uh, premium acrylic is just dreamy soft and um, it works up lovely I have used it so I've been extremely impressed with all of the yarns that I've had from pound stretcher that being said whenever you visit pound stretcher there are as you walk down the aisle there are obviously yarns that you think um i wouldn't buy that they'll have some that um big big balls of aran yarn which are for people who want to make cable knit jumpers and um pullovers they've also got um some baby yarn in there which uh, some fluffy yarn but then to me they're not the the prettiest they're not um they look cheap end that's what i'm trying to say so among and you get a kind of as well 
um, a ball around about this size. It doesn't have a weight on it. You can't tell if it's meant to be a three or a four. And I have used it and I've had some problems with it and I'll show you exactly the problem I had. Because I made this mile a minute um, one of the first things I made and I didn't realize it, but their, their dye process leaves a lot to be desired. And it, instead of going from one color seamlessly, you get these splodges of color that don't belong. And that would be, and see, I really wish I had omitted using this particular um, yarn from this uh, blanket because all of the others oh sorry hitting the, <laughs> hitting the camera all of the others that I've used have been lovely and I believe this one was another pound stretcher which was pretty good um, I don't know about that blue that possibly could have been but the, this one um, it's just wasn't a seamless color change and maybe I'm being picky I don't know but I just feel like when you've sorry when you've got green you don't really want blue popping back in pardon and you don't really want um this to happen suddenly a small section which was this colorway so yeah I I think that's you know particularly in those kind of um those kind those kind of uh, yarn balls that I saw in there but you can spot them you can spot them a mile off you can feel the quality of this and you can see it whereas with those um the ones I haven't purchased it is kind of obvious what you're getting for your money so all in all I'd have to say if you're if you're looking for some lovely baby yarn or you're looking for some yarns like this then visit pound stretcher be a little bit discerning um you can go to a cheaper uh, sorry a more expensive yarn store and find yarns you're not particularly interested in yarns that are not what your you know your cup of tea so i don't think um it's any different in a store like pound stretcher but the only other criticism i have is that they don't always have quantities um, when I was making my mile a minute chunky blanket, um, I gathered that yarn over a period of time. Um, I went into several different pound stretcher stores and one had quite an abundance of it, but other stores didn't. And that's another thing. They're not all consistent. They're not all of the stores carry all of the same. And I think that's possibly down to the management and not really appreciating um, selling yarn to be honest and not knowing what they're looking at and what they're dealing with so um, but that can't really you know I think that's just true of any store really any of the cheaper stores it just comes down to whether you're lucky enough to have a manager that does the ordering that understands what's going to sell so you know I would say I'm not a yarn snob by any stretch of the imagination. I'll try yarn from every source. But some of their yarns, um, no, I wouldn't try. But these ones I have tried and I've been extremely impressed with them. They wash well, they perform well, and they look nice when they're made up. So I don't see that there is any um any difference between some of these yarns and some of the expensive ones that I've used um they're very they're just on a par I would say but you do have to you do have to kind of shop around plus if you want the quantity and you want the dye lots it's a matter of luck basically so thanks for watching um I hope you've enjoyed my little um yarn review and the next one um, in this series will be uh, B&M yarn because I've um, been using a little bit of that lately and uh, I've got some to show you so I will do a little review on B&M. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.